Hello and welcome back to the Dreamweaver tutorials. In our quest to prove that web development is not rocket science, we developed a simple website in the last tutorial which looks something like this. Today let's go a step further by inserting a C-box into the website and making it more interactive. Let's right click on the HTML file created and open with Dreamweaver CS3 or whichever version you have. You don't have an HTML file. Mm. If that is the case, we can create a new HTML file in a very simple manner which involves right clicking new text document then you rename it to something dot html where something is whatever name you wish to give to your html file and then you can right click open with dreamweaver and edit it as always so now we are inside adobe dreamweaver 3 and let's have a quick recap of what we did last time we inserted an image into the website by going to the tree icon at the top and clicking on it and browsing to our image location we learn to resize the image by dragging at the end like this and we learn to enter text by of course entering text this is the simplest part and we learn to format the text by selecting it and changing stuff in the properties panel which is over here it's bold italics underline we center the website we made it bold we changed the font size and here we are quite simple now let's insert the c-box into this website but first we need to create a c-box let's browse to www.cbox.ws now what is the c-box c-box is a widget which looks something like this where you can chat on your website so you need to sign up for an account at cbox first you give a name email address two passwords and you're done so I already created an ID so let me just log in so this is our cbox and let's let's get the code to publish it you can customize your cbox in a number of ways using the look and feel tab in the in the style gallery you can pick whichever style you wish to you can change layout options width, height, let's make the width a bit more like 350 would be good and the height is 380 and form height is the height of the form where you write your name and email in the C box this part okay now let's save this What else can you do? You can edit the style like this. So you can edit how each and every part of your C-box looks. For now, let's have the default look. You can play around with this and you'll find and you'll be amazed at the amount of customizing you can do. Now let's publish the C-box. Here is the code to get your C-box on the website. So I'll select all and control C. This is Dreamweaver where we made our website in the design view. But now we must move to the code view. It's nothing to be too scared of. And this is the code which generated our website. All the relevant content will be between body and body. So body is the main content of the page. This is the image we inserted. This is the align this is the aligning of the text. This is the text we wrote. Now you can put this cbox code anywhere you want and dreamweaver will allow you to move it around and position it wherever you wish to have it. So let's put it after here. As long as you put it between open body and the slash body over here it should be all fine. Okay then let's get quickly get back to design view before we get too scared. So here is the C-box. Doesn't look like a C-box because Dreamweaver doesn't connect to the internet and get the contents as yet. If you want to see the C-box, you save it and check out our HTML file. Which yep, so we have a C-box here. The Dodo has written iRock. 
So let's also write we also rock. Ah, there. Yep, brilliant. So we have used our first C box. And that is the end of tutorial 2. In the next tutorial, we shall figure out how to position the C box in a more appealing manner. Until next time, goodbye.